Good afternoon. I would like to take this time, this opportunity to introduce you to Candace Cole, to my left here, who is our new Director of Communications. She comes to us from Washington, D.C., having worked for the last six years as a television news reporter there. And she also was a great reporter here in Jackson for a stint at WJTV. As a reporter, she viewed her role as that of, the, of a public servant, working to give a voice to the voiceless. And it's that same conviction that she brings to her work here with the city and we are happy to have brought her on to be a part of the great things that are happening here in Jackson. At this time, I'm going to let Candace take over the podium for the rest of the press conference. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm very pleased to be here. Um, and thank you all for joining us this afternoon for our press conference regarding the changes in the leadership within the Jackson Police Department. First and foremost, we are grateful to Interim Chief Anthony Moore, who in his time as Interim has had a significant positive impact on the way things are done at JPD, including the creation of the Officer ID Task Force, eliminating the distribution of mugshots, and the implementation of an independent review process in the cases of officer-involved shootings. In taking over this great responsibility, we are happy to introduce to you Assistant Chief James Davis, who will now serve as Interim Police Chief. Chief Davis brings with him nearly 25 years of experience with the Jackson Police Department. His first 10 years were spent as a patrol officer before becoming the first black range master under the training academy. From there, he came up through the ranks. He was named Sergeant, then Lieutenant of the 3rd Precinct, to District Commander, Deputy Chief and then Assistant Chief. He ha also has 15 years with the SWAT team and I'm told that he is an excellent marksman. Chief Davis has been a pillar of the community, having lived here in Jackson for 30 years. He has been a consistent presence in the community and well known by church leaders, civic associations, and community members. And we believe that he will be an effective leader for JPD for the time being. And with that, I would like to bring up Mayor Lumumba, who will talk about the transition. Good afternoon. As you are aware, the decision was made to appoint Anthony Moore as the interim police chief of the Jackson Police Department following the retirement of Chief Lee Vance. In that time, Chief Moore has been instrumental in helping to shape the direction of the Jackson Police Department. Equipped with a wealth of knowledge and experience on the force, he was an obvious choice to fill the role at that time. And so, today, I want to thank Chief Moore for all of his efforts while taking on the role as interim police chief, a role which has not been easy and has come with its own set of challenges. I also want to thank him for his commitment to keeping our communities safe and for laying down the groundwork which we are eager to build upon. In order to continue to move forward the city, to move the city forward with the number one goal of keeping Jacksonians safe and establishing a greater trust between our citizens and our police, and our police force. I am pleased to announce a Assistant Police Chief James Davis as our Interim Chief of Police of the City of Jackson. With that, I welcome Chief Davis to the, to the podium. Thank you, Mr. Thanks, glory be to God. I am very honored to uh, be chosen uh, by Mayor Lumumba to serve as interim chief. In my tenure here uh, as the police department, I worked my way up the ranks of the police department. And I'm committed to serving the citizens. I'm committed to do all that I can to show more police presence in our community. The men and the women you see standing behind me you'll see them more out in the community. We're gonna bring the police to the community. We're gonna address a lot of the issues that my constituents, the, the, the people that I, that call me to address some of these crimes. And I definitely like to thank my beautiful wife, who just stepped in, thank you, for allowing me to serve long hours.
to be away from home, to uh, take calls from citizens that, that, that cry out to me for help. And I want that to let the community know that I am committed and whatever team that we build will be a committed team. We're going to join forces with uh, our partners, our federal partners, uh, to address some of the time, uh, crime issues. We're going to reach out for all the resources that we possibly can to address the crime issues in Jackson. I want to let everybody know that I am truly committed and I look forward to this challenge. And I look forward to partnering with the community because the police department can't do it by themselves. If you see something, say something. If you see something, say something. I give you my direct number to my office, 601-960-1217. Call that number because I'm going to solicit your help because we cannot do it by, by ourselves. So thank you, and it's open for any questions for me. Well, I'll step in and yes, make a, a statement, and then they can pose questions. Yes. Uh, I do want to announce uh, simultaneously, uh, we are grateful uh, for the leadership of Chief Davis at this time uh, as he takes in the interim role, but we are simultaneously uh, commencing a permanent search for a police uh, chief. In doing so, Chief Davis will have the opportunity uh, to, to uh, submit his bid for that role, uh, and we are excited. Uh, we believe that we have strong leadership at this time as we enact a, a uh, complete process to make certain that we can fill the position permanently.